Good afternoon, everyone. It's Wynn Brown here with Haywood Healthcare's COVID-19 update for Wednesday, the 13th of January. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. I hope you're having a, a good solid day. Uh, I know that there's a lot of work going on across the health system and a lot of heavy lifting going on, and I just want to let the staff know I appreciate all the hard work that's going on. Uh, just to give the community a sense of what's going on from a testing perspective, our positive uh, rate throughout the pandemic has raised to 4.1% versus the state point three point five seven. Remember back when I used to tell you how we were beating the odds? Well, the odds have caught up with us. And you look at, you can see that in our seven day rolling average, we have increased to 8.85% in our region uh, versus 7.45 for the state. So again, we're seeing um, a continued surge, a post Christmas and uh, New Year's surge uh, upon us. And you see that also in our inpatient numbers, which are the highest inpatient numbers we have uh, ever had. Uh, at Haywood Hospital, 26 positive inpatients, five of those in our ICU. Um, needless to say uh, to, to my colleagues and, and, and uh, at Haywood and across the system, I know everybody's working incredibly hard. Uh, and sometimes it, you look around and you think no one's working harder than you. And, and I think we just have to remember to communicate with heart that everyone from finance who just went live with a new payroll system and worked 14 days straight to make sure we all got paid to uh, people working in our ICU, to our kitchen team, to our EVS staff. Just know that everybody's working as hard as they can and we are all exhausted, uh, but we have to continue forward. And so one of the small things uh, that we're going to do to try to support everyone is uh, beginning tomorrow, we are going to offer free meals again uh, to all staff uh, on all shifts. Uh, we'll get a free meal a day to everyone as just one small thing we can do uh, to uh, lift the burden that everybody is feeling uh, and just recognize the great work that everybody's doing. And again, that will start uh, tomorrow, Thursday morning. Thanks to uh, John uh, Nowak and Mike Costello and their teams for for stepping up and doing this. Um, and remember, it's going to be even more work for the for the staff in our kitchens to do this, and um, we're all pitching in as best we can. So thank you, everybody. I know the community has been asking, what can we do? Because uh, I'm getting a lot of um, contact from folks around us saying, you know, when the pandemic first started and there wasn't enough PPE, uh, we all made masks, and now you don't need that anymore because you have an adequate PPE supply for the most part. Uh, and I would say to the community, um, cards, notes of encouragement, emails, um, you can email all those things to community relations at, at haywood.org uh, and we will share those with staff. Um, you can, um, if you are a local uh, restaurant and want to support us, please reach out to Haywood uh, community relations at haywood.org and we will work it away to make sure that we can uh, support our staff just with words of encouragement. If you uh, live nearby to a staff or your friends or staff, maybe you could make them a meal and deliver it to their home and support them as well because it really is incredibly hard right now. Uh, and while the vaccine is here, it does not have a strong pipeline yet in our community. And we really need to make sure that um, our team uh, stays uh, fueled and supported uh, as we continue forward on our pathway. So the other way you can support uh, our, uh, our staff uh, and the community is to make sure that you wear your mask, that you're social distancing, that you're doing all the right things so that your community hospital and health system can continue its journey to be one of the best community-owned health systems in America. Have a great evening. Take care, everyone.